Hi everyone, welcome back to Digital Dreambox. In today's tutorial, we're going to model a yo-yo, the toy. Um, not sure what other yo-yos there'd be, but the toy. Um, it's gonna be broken up into a couple parts though. In the first part, we'll model the body of the yo-yo. And then in the next one, the next video, we'll model the string using Maya's curve tool. So should be a lot of fun. Let's jump right in and get started. Okay, so here we are inside of Maya. Let's model this yo-yo. Go up to your poly modeling shelf and add a cylinder into the scene. Because we're planning to do some sub-D um, modeling this, we're gonna smooth it later, we can drop some of these subdivisions now. So press T on the keyboard and we're gonna drop this to 16 under subdivision axis. And then I'm just gonna scale it up and scale it down. We're gonna make one half of the yo-yo first. All right, so this is what we have so far. Um, and if you need to get to these tools on the left, um, the scale tool was R, I forgot to mention that, but we have Q for select, um, W for move, E for rotate, and R for scale. Okay. And then next, I wanna select this top row of edges. I'm gonna open up the modeling toolkit you can get to the component modes up here. So vertex mode, um, edge mode, and face mode. The first one is object selection, but I'm going to hold down the right mouse button and use Maya's marking menu to go into edge. And then I'm just going to press Q on the keyboard. So I have my selection arrow, double clicking this, um, and then I'm going to bevel it. So clicking this bevel button, and I'm going to give it some segments and I'm gonna play with the fraction, but you'll notice that when you drag this, it can be a little bit strong. Um, to make that more precise, you can hold down control and drag, or for even more precision, hold down control and shift and drag. And then what we can do is, if we wanna see what this looks like uh, previewed, we can press three on the keyboard, and that'll give us a rough idea of the shape that it'll take once it's smoothed later on. I think something like this can work. Okay, I'm gonna press one again. And I wanna grab the bottom edges and bevel those as well. So I'm gonna select the bottom edge here. I'm just gonna turn off the grid for now. I'm selecting that bottom edge that, I'm double clicking it, I should say, selecting that whole row and then I'm gonna bevel it. And I'm just gonna drag the fraction all the way up so that those two edges um, merge. So I'll just show you. Um, where is it? So right now, you can see there's two edges there. If you drag it all the way up, they merge, and the vertices will merge as well. All right, now, um, if we press three in the keyboard, you can see that it's a little bit round on the top and the bottom right here on the inside. I don't want that. I want those to be flat. So to do that, I'm going to offset the faces at the top and the bottom. So I'm pressing one on the keyboard. I'm gonna go into face mode. And I'm gonna use Maya's drag select. So hold down the tab key on the keyboard and then just drag and you'll select those faces. And then let's offset this. So click extrude and we'll give it a bit of an offset. And we'll do the same thing for the bottom. So hold uh, first click off so you unselect those. Hold down tab and drag. Go, make sure nothing else is selected. Then click Extrude and give it a bit of an offset. Okay. That'll control the rounding of it. So it'll basically stop it. Um, and now we're ready to um, smooth this, actually, subdivide it. So select your object. So go into Object Mode, select it, and just click this Smooth button. And it smoothed it to one uh, smoothing level. So let's just click off and have a look. Looks pretty good. Um, and I'm gonna turn on wireframe, on wireframe unshaded, and you can see at the bottom here that um, the geometry is a little bit angular. There's extra there. We're not really gonna be looking in here, so it doesn't have need all that geometry. Um, also, we want to extrude the axle, and we want that to be round. So we can solve both of those problems at once. Um, select your object, go into edge mode, 
and double click on this edge here. And then we're gonna detach it. So um, under Edit Mesh, choose Detach. Now the top and the bottom are separated. So go into face mode, double click on any of these faces on the bottom, they'll select them all, and then we can just delete it. And then finally, um, go back to edge mode, double click on the edge again, and we're going to extrude that in. We're gonna use Maya's Smart Extrude this time. So pressing R on the keyboard to go into the Scale tool, hold down Shift and drag. And you wanna drag and stop where you want the axle of the yo-yo to be, where the string will wrap around. Okay, I'm gonna stop right about there. And then uh, I'm gonna hold down Shift again and drag, just so I have a second set of faces. And I'm gonna to go to Edit Mesh and merge to center. Yeah. And then I'm gonna select these bottom faces the same way we did earlier, going into face mode, holding down tab, and just drag selecting all these. And then I wanna extrude that down, so clicking the extrude button, and just dragging this down. Okay. And then let's go back into object mode. So here's the object. I'm going to close the modeling toolkit for now. And um, to make the other half of the yo-yo, we can mirror this. So select your yo-yo, um, go to or <laughs> your cylinder, go to um, mesh mirror. And under the mirror, we want to change a couple things here. For the axis position, we're going to choose um, bounding box. And then for the axis, we're gonna choose Y, so up and down. Here we go. And then let's um, go back to edge mode. So here we go. And I'm going to double click this row of edges and I'm gonna hold down control and press delete. That way um, we delete the vertices as well. All right, let's go back into object mode. And now we need to bring these together, but we don't really wanna scale it. So if I press R on the keyboard and try and scale it, it's going to flatten it. Um, I'm going to undo that by pressing Control Z. We just want to move the vertices down. So go into vertex mode, box select all those top vertices, and then press W to go into your move tool and drag it down. Drag it down, but leave enough room for where the string will be. So something like that for now. We'll be moving it later on, but for now, just leave it there. And then, um, we're going to go back into object mode, and I'm going to bring back the grid. So right now, our yo-yo is sitting under um, our origin. Um, I want it to sit on the origin. So i um, pressing W to bring the move tool. Um, and you can see our pivot is up there from the modeling and moving vertices of, from earlier. So let's uh, fix that. So tap the space bar to go into the four panel view, and then hover over either the front view or the side view, and tap the spacebar again. Now what we wanna do, just use a middle mouse wheel to scroll in. Um, I'm gonna move this pivot to the bottom of the yo-yo. I'm gonna hold down D, hold down V, and using the top um, arrow here, just gonna drag that down to that vertex. And then finally, I'm gonna hold down X and drag this up. So now it's sitting on the origin. I'm gonna tap the spacebar and tap the spacebar again while I'm over the perspective view. Um, I'm also going to delete the history and freeze the transformations. Okay, and finally, let's give this a ground plane. So let's get rid of the grid again. Um, add a plane into the scene. And then we're going to just scale that up. We'll be using that in the next part. So I'm just going to add it in now. And so yeah, now we have a yo-yo. The ground plane looks pretty good. I'm just going to turn off wireframe unshaded and we'll be ready to move on to the next part. All right, our yo-yo is half done. In the next part, we'll be making the string using Maya's curve tools. See you then.